discussion, and I'll go straight to some of the issues that were raised during the discussion. And one of them is uh, about mergers. Um, do you see what role will mergers continue to play in the industry going forward, in your view? Thank, thank you, Hezbollah. Um, <clears throat> in my view, uh, as I said during the, the chat, uh, mergers will continue to be key to building large, resilient banks um, in our country. Um, having just gone through a merger, I know what um, it means to have a large institution that can support its customers. One of the driving reasons we did this was that we had noticed our customers had grown to a size where uh, small banks in the name of NIC and CBA could not, um, could not handle. And I think what has proven, uh, what this merger of ours has proven is we are able to support much larger industries and also to make investments uh, in government infrastructure projects that are key to the future of the country. So I think mergers will continue to play a role. I think the other reason that uh, I believe this will happen is that there are a lot of uh, investments that um, banks have to make towards the regulatory requirements, compliance with various laws, whether in country or out of country. Um, and those investments are better done uh, by larger banks. So I think uh, and all those are aimed to ensure the safety of depositors' money, so they're important. Uh, so I think uh, from where I see mergers will continue to be key. So in this growth trajectory, what role do you think um, technology will play in terms of, uh, you know, um, defining the future of the banking industry? Well, I think uh, in, in, in today's world, technology is core to banking. I think you would have noticed there was a bit of noise when our own technology uh, had a few challenges. That tells you that whether it be customer service, uh, whether it be uh, processing customer requests, um, banks now depend very heavily on technology. So that will continue to be the case. Customers as well, um, especially during COVID, have migrated to being more dependent on digital channels to access banking services. So technology, whether from the customer perspective or the, from the bank processes perspective, will continue to be key. So part of, part of the reason, and I again think mergers will be important, is that Technology is becoming more sophisticated, more expensive. Uh, so soon only larger banks will be able to afford the type of technology that can deliver the services required, as well as withstand the sophisticated cybercrime challenges that we're seeing today. Well, as they say, technology is a double-edged sword. As technology grows, fraudsters are also on the prowl. So what is the banking industry doing to ensure that uh, you know, transactions are safe? No, th thank you for that question. Many things. Um, <clears throat> one is that um, we are constantly aware that cyber criminals are not sleeping. And we see banks targeted every day. Every bank, I think, gets thousands and thousands of, of trials or, or what we call cybercrime hits uh, a month, and we track those. Um, what is important is that um, every bank now is required to have um, what we call a, 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 a safety officer who looks at uh, cyber, uh, cyber crime matters. Um, we're supposed to go through system audits on a regular basis as well as one major one annually that focuses a lot on the safety of the systems and uh, number three is that a lot of banks have also taken insurance towards uh, this matter of cyber crime so i think all in all is doing a lot of things uh, to ensure that um, that um, depositors money are safe uh, beyond that uh, there is the requirement now of uh, a test where you hire hackers to try to crack into a system that's also a requirement that we have to adhere to every two years. Again, just to ensure that systems are, are safe. Okay. Then now to circle back to the issue of COVID-19, we know many customers have been affected because of the ravages the pandemic has had on the, on the economy. Uh, what has the industry done to support customers uh, during this period and even beyond? And as you answer that, we're going to reflect on, the, on SMEs 
uh, which yep. have been affected most? I think, Hezbo, one thing I would say is that um, I'm very proud to say that banks were perhaps the first uh, group to go out there and make commitments towards customers during this time. Working together with a regulator, the CBK, were the first ones to make offers in terms of reducing uh, fees for digital transactions. Were the first ones to make offers as far as giving moratoriums and structuring of loans. Uh, to ensure customers would survive during this period. And also, I think we were the first groups to offer major donations towards the, uh, the COVID emergency response fund that was, that was launched by the president. So I think banks have done a whole lot. Besides that, it's all the donations that have been made to private and public institutions to support with masks, to support with sanitizers, and other uh, essentials uh, that the public requires during this period. I would also add that uh, our own staff have done a whole lot to ensure the safety of customers who are coming to uh, the various uh, uh, branches or the various outlets that banks use to deliver their services. So all in all, I think banks have done a tremendous job uh, in uh, supporting, supporting customers. What is important to note is that um, even when we thought this pandemic will last for say three months, when you realize it's taking longer, I think banks have responded very positively to continue extending those moratoriums or supporting those customers. And also just being close to them, uh, giving them advice. We as NCBA have had a number of economic forums for customers in which we have given advice either from ourselves or from experts on how to weather this period of uncertainty. So all in all is to say that uh, I think banks have done a great, a great deal. That's all for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much, Hezbo. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Okay, great. Um, I guess we can all turn our... I need to